Sex education. Is it a good or bad thing to be taught in high schools? Today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of sex education. Many adults are against their kids learning about sex in schools. However, it is beneficial for both them and their children. I feel that the two years of sex education that I had received in high school benefited me. It taught me of the dangers and the consequences that come with sex. And with this knowledge, I was able to make better choices about sex. In order to understand why sex education should be taught in schools, we need to look at the statistics of teenage pregnancy, health concerns, and why sex is a big issue with teenagers. Let's take a look at the statistics of teenage pregnancy. According to the website for the Center of Disease Control and Prevention and Family First Aid, this last year has been the lowest in a while for teenage pregnancy rates. Many say it's because teenagers are getting informed and learning how to use better contraceptive. But still, it's not enough. Each year, 750,000 women between the ages of 15 and 19 become pregnant. Even though we have had a decline of teenage pregnancy rates, it's still a major issue, and it's still the highest in the United States among other countries. Teenage pregnant rates could be higher, but we have to take in consideration that teenagers will have abortions and many will have miscarriages. Now let's look at the dangers that come with having sex. According to the website gutmatcher.org, STDs or STIs are the major health concerns that come with having sex. Even though teenagers only make up one quarter of the sexually active population, they account for 9.1 million cases of STDs or STIs each year, which is half. STDs are now more common in teenagers than any other age group. One concern would be about the human, the female body as well. When girls have sex at younger ages, their reproductive system is not completely developed. They could actually be physically hurting themselves, which could prevent possible kids in the future. Now that we've seen what, what can happen when you have sex, let's look at why. Curiosity. Curiosity is a big reason why sex is so, such a big issue. When teenagers do not get answers from their parents, they go looking for the answers themselves, which might mean being curious about sex and having sex. By having a sex education class, questions can get answered and curiosity can be eliminated. Another reason why it is such a big issue is because of peer pressure. Many teenagers feel peer pressure from their classmates and from the media, which promotes sex. Sex education can not only inform teenagers about the dangers and consequences of having sex, but it also can help them deal with the peer pressures and overcome peer pressure. I asked my classmates, why is sex education taught in some, class, some schools and not others? They responded with, sex education is taught in some schools and not others based on what parents and staff members of the board see deem appropriate. For example, my father went to a Catholic school and they did not teach sex education because it was against their religious practice. Religious schools probably won't teach sex education. However, bigger schools with more students will have a sex education class but it all depends on the parents and the staff. Parents can sign permission slips allowing their kids to learn or not to learn about sex. My second question I asked my classmates is, did you feel that sex education was important to learn in high school? They responded with, I think it is important to have sex education in schools. I think that some kids or students wouldn't be able to talk to their parents about sex so this way, they can get some knowledge of what they need to know. It is also important for some students while it's not important for others. 
but it should be up to the community and their schools on what they feel is appropriate for their youth to be learning. Let's review about why sex education is important. Many adults are against their kids learning about sex in school. However, it is beneficial for both the parents and their children. Now that we've looked at teenage pregnancy rates and the dangers of having sex, we know it's all because of a lack of knowledge. While sex education promotes abstinence, it also informs teenagers of the consequences and the dangers of having sex when their parents won't give them the answers. Thank you.